Hi and welcome to the third of our videos on the index laws. Again, these are very useful for um, simplifying expressions that we're given. So in this video, we actually look how do we simplify um, bases that have been raised to a power, which are again raised to a second power. So in this case, we've got four cubed raised to the power four. Four cubed can be written like this. And if it's raised to the power of four, that means we've got four sets of those particular four cubes. A quick count up of fours shows that we've got 12 of those, so we can write it as four to the base 12. So you might again start to see some a shortcut that might be presenting itself here. Let's see if it works. So how could I simplify seven squared all to the power of five? Well, once again, seven squared can be written like that. And if it's raised to the power of five, it simply means we've got five sets of these values. So putting all of those in, we can see that in fact, we've got 10 sevens all lined up multiplying each other. The shorthand method of writing that, seven to the power 10. So at this point, you've probably picked that those two numbers within the bracket and without the bracket are actually multiplied together in order to give us the final form of the indice. So try these ones. Again, you might like to pause the video while you see if you can solve them. Okay, so for the first one, 2 to the power 6 all squared can be written as 2 to the power 6 times 2 to the power 6, which from the first law can be written as 2 to the power 12. Again, 6 by 2 will give us that final result of 2 to the power 12. 3 to the power 5 all cubed can be written like this, or even sim simplified even further, 3 to the power 15. Writing this formally, our general rule is that when we raise a power to another power, the two powers are multiplied together. So in this instance, a is raised to the power m, which is raised to the power n, which together is multiplied to give us a to the power m times n. You might again consider stopping the video at this point and copying this down into your exercise book. Thanks very much, we'll hold it there.